Hello there guys and welcome back to another one of our videos. You are watching me Dave. Today I've brought you out to this 25 acre stubble field. It's nice and local to me. I've had some good items off here in the past from military buttons to musket balls and even a bit of silver. So we're going to be using the Equinox 800 today in field one using the 4x4 program and I'm going to be using the standard Equinox 11 inch coil and hopefully we'll get in between that green waste on here because it is quite bad but I do know there are some goodies on here and hopefully we'll be able to find them. So without me rambling on too much, if you're into your treasure hunting videos and your metal detecting videos, stay right where you are because we're back after this and you're watching The Detectives. Right guys, well, I'd like to say this is my first target, but I've dug about four or five holes now and they were all trash. This sounds slightly better than the rest of the ones I've just dug. It's coming in at 15, 16. And it is about there. Let's have a look. Right guys, it's out the hole. And if you remember, in one of the previous videos I had, my uh, pinpointer was falsing badly. I've treated myself to this lovely Garrett 80 Pro Pointer, and I have to say I'm rather impressed with it. It's a lot louder as well. Let's see what we've got. There it is. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's looking. Yeah, it is. It's a lead bullet, guys. Very loud, coming in at 17, quite shallow. And it's saying it's about there. Let's have a look. We're going to have a live dig on this one. <sighs> Hopefully we've got that. Yep. Just out, right on the edge of this little clod here. And there we go. Is it? Oh no. Thought that was a coin, guys, but there's a hole at the top there. I can see something on it. I'm not sure what it what it says. Guys, if anybody knows what this is, please do let me know in the comments. It says 168 WPH. I'm gonna clean that up and put a photo on for you guys. But yeah, if you know what that is, hit me in the comments, please. You'll see a picture of that now. From another target now. It's coming in at 14, 15, quite deep, six to eight inches. And it's about there. Let's have a look. Right, guys, that target there sitting just down there was a buckle. And we love a good buckle. Right, guys, we've got another target coming in now. It's reading 17, solid. And it's about there. Let's have a look. Right guys, I've just dug down, and would you believe it? Look at that. It's another one of these coin things with a hole, almost like a little pendant or something. I don't know. Guys, I'm just gonna clean this up and see if there's anything on this one. It says HSC or HSO, and then there's a number at the bottom there. It's 3013. What are they? Cow tags, sheep tags? Is it some sort of token or pendant? Guys, if you know what these are, hit me in the comments. Cheers. Right guys, we've got another target now. Really, really loud. Coming through at 20. Well, a bit all over to be honest with you. Not so sure about this one now, but I am going to dig it. And it's about there. Let's have a look. Well, I was right, should have left it. But yeah, it's just this little scrap piece of pole. No idea. Bit of green waste, guys. All right, guys, belting signal here. 19 to 21. About six inches deep. Digger all day, this. And it's about there. Still in the hot, ah, look at that. It's a musket, guys. That's a big one as well. You wouldn't like that to it, yeah? Yeah, cracking find. I love them. I was about to dig down after getting a double bleeping banging signal there 
and I can see it right on the surface. You can still see the imprint there. It is a coin. It's just blank. It's probably going to be a half penny, something like that, but right on the surface. Right, guys, we've got another target coming through now. Coming through at about 21, 22. And it is about there. Let's have a look. And it was this. It was a smaller pistol shot ball. So there we go. Well, guys, we were just getting a 15 come through and I've dug down, revealed it, and it was this lovely little button you can see on the back there, right where the shank would have been attached there in the center. But yeah, what a cool little button. Never found one with a design like that. Boom, and we're in with another target. This is coming up at 18, 19. Starting to rain now, guys. I'm hoping the weather's gonna be kind to me. It's about here. Let's see if we've got, oh, look at that. Is that it there? Well, guys, after all that, it was this lovely bag seal. Most of you will know that I collect these. And there's a lovely design on the back of that one there. It's like a shield of some sort. This side, I can't really make out what it says. I'm gonna clean this up anyway, guys, and you'll see a picture of that now. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't half fit me days, do I? <laughs> look at the sun. It was lovely when I first started and set off, but we're gonna carry on because look what's in the distance there. A lovely rainbow. So guys, I'll see you on the next hole. We're getting a 32, 30 to 32. Nice signal, and it's about there. Let's have a look. Right guys, whatever it is, is out the hole. He says, and it's there. It's a coin, and it's a big one. From the weight and size, I'd say that's gonna be a cartwheel, possibly. Yeah, it certainly is. It's gotta be a cartwheel, guys. I will clean this up anyway and see if we can get some detail off it, but I think we're gonna struggle, to be honest. Anyway, you'll see a picture of that now. Well, we're in with another target now. It's coming up at 20, 21 again. And it's about there. Let's have a quick look. Let's see if we've got it. It's out. Whatever it is, is out. Ah, just dropped right out the top there. Look at that. Bear with me. Still caked in mud. It's a coin, guys. And, oh, hang on. A bit different. I've not found one of these before. Yeah, guys. Well, that's uh, that's a new one for me. It's Napoleon. Na yeah, Napoleon. Is it the third? Yeah. That's a beaut. Yeah, good little find that, guys. I'm going to clean that up as well, so you can have a proper look at that, and you'll see a picture of it. Now. Well guys, we've got another target coming through now. Again, only shallow. It's coming in at 20. And it's about there, let's have a look. Well, I thought it was a spindle well. I've got it out. I think it's just some sort of washer, guys. But you've got to dig them. Right guys, we've got another target coming through now. 22 to 20 and she's about there let's have a look i think it's out it's in there yeah oh <laughs> oh come on it's gotta be it is we've done it again look it's silver <laughs> oh Yes, this is oh, an absolute beaut as well. Look at that. Guys, 
I'm covered in mud. Just let, oh, look at that. It's a bullet. It's another bullet. Guys, I'm gonna clean this and I'll come back to you all right. Just let me come back to you. Well, guys, I've cleaned it. And there he is. It's an 1819 silver bullhead. I think it is a sixpence. I can't really make out much on the back there, but I'm absolutely made up with that. This will be the second silver coin I've actually had from this field now. And I tell you what, that is an absolute beaut. Guys, I'm gonna clean this anyway so you can see it properly and you'll see a picture of that now. Next target, guys, was coming in at 23. And it was this. Looks like some sort of toy wheel. Off a train, possibly. Maybe a car, who knows, anyway. But there we go. It's made of lead. Right, guys, well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this video. I tell you what, we've not done too bad at all today. We had the silver coin, we had the musket balls, a couple of nice buttons, and not forgetting that Napoleon the third coin an absolute beauty for me. I've never found one of them before. And I, I tell you what, it's definitely been worth getting out just for those couple of hours. And I did say that if we dig in between the green waste, which unfortunately there is plenty of, we would find a couple of nice bits. So made up with that. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way, every time we upload a new video, you'll be notified and you'll be able to watch that first. So guys, until next time, stay safe. We'll see you on the next video, which will be, yeah, in a couple of days time, I think. And until then, take care. Cheers.